I think it's been more than a month since we did anything with Lada. We were so busy with American trip and you know Christmas and New Year. Uh, so I think now it's finally time to work on it. And we're gonna start from the back. The biggest issue that we're having right now is that one side of the wheel is sticking three and a half centimeters out and the other side is too much in. We need to fix that and for that, we need to take the pan hard out and some will weld the... Uh, what are you gonna weld? The screw? Shrubazimska. Shrubazimska, yes. Instead of me explaining, let me just show you. Okay, so we are under Lada and this is our pan hard. This is the arm that connects the back uh, suspension to the frame of the car, to the chassis. And uh, because we lowered the car and it's connected only in one point, the whole suspension moved to this side, which is to the right side. What we need to do now is kind of cut it in the middle and make it adjustable. So we can actually, uh, by rotating you know, the bolt here, we can actually make it shorter or longer, which is gonna set our suspension exactly in the middle. So we need to get it out, and then I'll show you how to make it adjustable. our pan hard here and as you can see this is one long piece of pipe to make it adjustable we had to buy this uh, I really don't know the English name and what we need to do is cut it in the middle and weld this one uh, to connect both sides and this is gonna help us make it adjustable right so you have this nut from the one side this nut from the other side and then you connect it with with this thing <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, both ends of our pan heart. We painted it black um, just to be a bit more nice. Inside I've welded uh, nuts. And now we're gonna connect it with, uh, with this one. So we couldn't find the nut for the old one that we had, so we bought the, the proper new thing, uh, which is a bit thicker, uh, with the nuts already there. And this gives you opportunity to have it adjustable uh, lengthwise, right? So if it's too long, you can unscrew it. If it's too short, you can screw it in. And yeah, let's see if it works. Yeah. Okay, so now hard is on and you can see that here the wheel is sticking out quite a lot and here like before it's uh, pretty much inside the arch. I don't know how it should be roughly. I know how much you can see and now by turning these ones we're gonna be able to adjust it to make it shorter which is gonna pull all the suspension to the left hand side so it's in center it's in the middle right. Ah it, this is coming out so that's good. Yeah it's this way. Oh, that's a lot of changing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, stop now. Okay, let's shoot this side. Okay, let's just put it on the floor first and then we'll see where we go from there. Yeah, that's much more, that's much more in than it was. Is it? Oh yeah, that's proper. That's how it should be. And here? The other side? Sticking out now, so we actually made it the oh, other way. Oh, okay. So we did a bit too much, I think. Yes. So here we have, when it looks straight, one centimeter. One and a half. It depends where you look. Up to front. Let's say one and a half. Yeah. Right. Still one and a half. I think it's kind of the same. Okay, so the suspension and all the body work outside is uh, done. It's exactly at the height that I wanted it to be. It's pretty much touching the tires. I didn't want any crazy fitment. I just wanted to actually use this car, which is very unlike us. But anyway, what I had to do for last 
a day and a half pretty much is make sure the wheels are not sticking out too much. So I had to make a bit of a camber by uh, adjusting the top arms. But it's pretty much done, it's pretty much good. I, I really like the way it is now. I think it's uh, very usable. And then the back, since the panhard is ready, it's actually still sticking out a bit, but I think it's not a problem because now we're gonna roll the arch just a tiny bit, maybe this much, just to hide the wheel a bit more. And it's sort of touching already at the moment, but that's easily fixable. And for now, I just wanna focus on the interior because the interior has been neglected for a very long time. I have all these covers washed, so that can go back on the front because the black seats look awful in here. I don't understand it, but if you like it, it's okay. <laughs> Man, people don't know about the Rozočka. Rozočka is the most classic uh, shift knob for Ladas. Okay, let it be. Uh, I cannot sit inside the car now. <laughs> yeah, it's too clean. Isn't it? <laughs> this, look at my shoes, man, what do you mean? <laughs> man, this is so good. So you're gonna just be driving in socks now? Yes. I think we should go for a test drive. In socks? Yes. Nah, no, there's one more piece. Oh yeah. Okay, so probably the last piece of the puzzle for this uh, ladder is the back window. Most ladders actually have these uh, back window covers, same as what we have in E30. And I was thinking about that. But then one guy texted me, he's like, listen, I have this company and we make the interior ones. And I never really seen any ladders with that or any like cars with that overall. So I was like, Actually, this is a good idea. So thank you, my guy PD Classics, for uh, sending this over. I'm excited to put this on. I think this will really suit it. Thank you. Oh, there's T-shirt. Quite a lot of stickers. So, uh, it's essentially the same thing as you would have on your office windows, but for the back of the car. That's what I know. Is it like black or? Yeah, the actual mount. Oh. That's the mount. Super nice actually. And yeah, and this goes behind the window in between that and then, should we just try it on? Yeah. Okay, so the mountings are installed. You just basically tuck them inside the rubber here around the window. And uh, now it's just putting these in, I guess. Yes. The shorter one should be on the top. Uh, yeah? Yeah, put the shorter one on top. I know it. Uh... Yeah, you just need to bend them all like this, see? Perfect. Yeah. Password. Vujanka. What? Vujanka. Okay, let it be. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, what's up? We're installing a roulette. Look at the stunts. What do you mean by stunts? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is done. It actually looks better than I thought. And I really like the, the subtleness of this because when you put something outside, like on E30, it looks very aggressive and, you know, nice in its own way. But for this kind of car, I think this... Just might, a nice touch. Yeah, just really nice touch for it. I still didn't put them fully straight because I think I mistake uh, some long ones for the short ones. Don't I'm worry. Gonna I'm gonna fix that later. Yeah. I'm never gonna fix that. Okay. And I think right now the best thing to do is to take it for a quick drive. So the situation with Kevin at the moment is, since the last video nothing really changed, we have a roll cage in pieces, 
And the plan for today is to weld the roll cage around, have it fully ready, have it with the car for good. For this, I had to buy some of these. I really don't know English name for it. This basically is gonna reinforce the whole roll cage and also it's gonna look much cooler uh, when it's in. So Derek is gonna be doing all the welding and I'm gonna be working on the front suspension here. It's out at the moment. Um, we need to figure out how to make Kevin low, low, low on the floor. Because um, I wanna run it very, very low comparing to before. So let's get the welding machine ready and let's bang it. Kevin on the top and uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get rid of the rear diff and everything that is here and then I'm gonna try to explain you how are we gonna sort the, the drive to connect it with the motorbike car. Okay, so we removed this much from Kevin and now we have a space to work on a new uh, drive. And the boys are working on the front suspension because we need to... The front subframe is pretty low so we need to cut it and weld it a bit higher so it's not gonna scrape the floor because the car is gonna be really low now. There is uh, one more situation for today because this car is ready. All the lights are working and everything and you have the flames and all that. And if you go outside... It doesn't look like a lot, but as you can see, it started snowing and the temperature is going down. I checked the weather and it says it's going to be snowing all night, so we might actually take E30 for a quick spin after we finish in the garage, so looking forward to that. <laughs> try to quickly explain you what's going on now so we got rid of the subframe on the bottom because it was just too low and if we want to run Kevin very low we had to get rid of that subframe so now the lower control arm is gonna have to be cut and we need to make it shorter and we're going to mount it to the um, to the frame here and instead of the shock here uh, as before we're gonna have a little air cup here and this is gonna allow us to uh, raise Kevin a bit in the front just to be able to turn or just get it onto some lavetka. It should work. So after all day, we have all the pieces of the roll cage welded all around. Everything is pretty much ready to install inside Kevin. So this is how Kevin looks empty. And let's put the bad boys in. And now this is gonna be welded in. Okay, Kevin's been done and we have a bit of situation. 
Let me show you. So like I said two hours ago when there was no snow whatsoever, now we have full snow situation and I took E34 right and it got stuck. So now we are taking the Volvo. We're going to pick up a wheel to my house to put the winter tires on it because it got stuck because it has summer tires on at the back. And then we're gonna be back here in the garage, put the winter tires on, put the winter tires on the E30 and we're gonna go... Well, you probably know where we're gonna go. Morning. <laughs> <laughs> There she is, and here is where I got stuck. I couldn't make it uphill there. So we're gonna go now, pick up some winter tires, or we're gonna try to push it with Volvo. Let's see. Let's see. Easy. Easy. Okay, I know the wheel is somewhere here, either behind the garage. Nope, or inside the garage. Morning. Where's the freaking wheel? That's not it. Shit. Okay, boys are gonna try to push me. Jeszcze! Jeszcze! Dobra! Let's go! for that one wheel uh, outside here in the snow we went to my house I was looking around my house in an old garage everywhere we couldn't find it and right now we found it it was all the time here behind the radiator this one and now I need to swap this old summer tire to this new nice winter one and then and then put it on the back because at the moment at the back we have old summer tires so when we do this, both sides, we're gonna have uh, new winter tires on the front and then new winter tires on the back. And that's gonna help us keep up with this big boy in his Volvo. Okay, the job is done for today, and now let's have some fun. So it's basically um, midnight, four past midnight, and we have a couple cars, a couple friends, we finished in the garage, we've been here since 10 a.m. It's full white outside, snowy as hell, so let's just go and have some fun. Hopefully everything will be fine and we will be back in one piece, but you never know with this car, so let's find out. Do you see this? Mam pas, mam pas, transportowy. Shit, we didn't even make it to the spot. And there's car upside down there already. Yeah, no chance, no chance to get it out. The guy needs to call the, the lavetka, basically. I am. 
This is it, I think, for, for us at least. Um, need to get back to the garage and fix the exhaust, but not tonight, it's already like 2, 2 a.m. And also, it's too much snow. Look, five hours ago there was nothing, and now it's this. Which is good, it's fun, but just a bit too much, I think. And I think this is how we end this video, to be honest. We were supposed to still film a lot of rolling shots, but with this weather, I'm not sure if we're gonna go and do it tomorrow. So, if not, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this video and this format. A bit of winter, at least, for a winter beater. Look how cool it looks, the, the flames. And yeah, see you in the next one.